Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Today I'm going to continue my mystery bag of sauces from Purple Ton Hot Sauce. So I don't know what I'm going to be trying yet. You'll probably know because of the thumbnail, but as of me doing this, I have no idea. So let's bring up this mystery bag. And I don't even know how many sauces I have left of there. Let's see, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four. So I have seven sauces left of theirs to try. Out of, I think it was 12 or 13. So let's give this a, a random search. Just go with this one. No idea what it is. You guys can see it. I can't. I'm hoping to face it the right way. Yep. Okay, so this one is their Stout Barbecue. Hmm. Let's see what it has to say on the little booklet about this one, or pamphlet, or card, the piece of paper here thing. So the Stout Barbecue. <clears throat> it's only a three out of five, so it's not going to be too hot, if anything. Pairs well with chicken fingers, chicken wings, spare ribs, pork chops, tofu, steak tacos, Deep fried shrimp, onion rings, and sandwiches. And again, if you haven't been watching my sauce, my videos on Purple Ton, they're out of Ajax, Ontario. They're a nice little company. I don't know if they call them little, but <clears throat> they do no preservatives, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so very, very natural uh, stuff. What they have here on... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Our passion for extreme hot peppers like the Buchogia, or ghost pepper, the Trinidad Scorpion, and the world's hottest Carolina Reaper, so we know when this, these were made, had driven us to make our own hot sauces that we couldn't find anywhere else. We needed fire, flavor, and uniqueness. We started out as a hobby a few years ago and it turned into a passion. So we established a company called Purple Ton Hot Sauce in the winter of 2020. So as of this point of this video there, Almost four years old, which, and they've done really well for themselves from what I've seen. <clears throat> Based out of Ajax, Ontario, we are a proud Canadian company that makes fiery hot sauces, and we are happy to offer a wide range of flavors that will surely satisfy your heat-seeking needs. All of our recipes include the finest of ingredient, freshest of ingredients, are gluten-free, mostly organic, and have no artificial flavors, no, artificial additives, and preservatives. Thank you for taking interest in our product, and we hope you follow along and help watch us grow. And you can follow them on Instagram, Facebook, I believe they're actually on TikTok as well. Uh, all their link information will be below. Um, and let's see if I can see the ingredients on this one. Shake well before using. Ingredients, here we go. Tomato paste, ghost peppers, mm. I can't read it because it's so small. So I'm not going to attempt, but I will have it right here. You can see it right now. These are the ingredients. <laughs> it's a smoky barbecue hot sauce. <clears throat> with yellow ghost peppers. So, let's get this baby open and we will see what it tastes like. And my Kniff and I have made up. So, just allow me to use it again. <laughs> Keep it nice and safe. Yeah, this is the uh, yellow ghost peppers. I don't think I've actually ever had a yellow ghost pepper before. I've grown a few different ghost peppers, like the chocolate and that, but I have never actually seen a yellow or had a yellow that I'm aware of. Ooh. That has a very nice barbecue smell to it. It's, um, what does it remind me of? Oh, 
almost like a bourbon barbecue. It's kind of what it's, it's reminding me of. <clears throat> Let's give this a try. So that's about a, a dime shape. Dime size, you should say. Ooh. It's actually really good smelling. Just hoping that the uh, stout barbecue, hopefully it's not too much of a stout, not much of a beer drinker, <clears throat> if that's the stout they're talking about. <coughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> but it usually goes pretty good with barbecue sauce, so cheers. Ooh, that is very good. A little bit of heat. I want to say that I'm tasting garlic. <clears throat> there's def def definitely, a, I'm 100% sure there's garlic in that. So you guys have known the ingredients. I, I have no idea right now. Um, <clears throat> what else am I getting in there? Flavor-wise... I don't know why I'm, I'm not tasting it. I'm not having any effects. <clears throat> but flavor-wise, I think there might be like maybe a touch of onion powder or something in there. Try a little bit more. It's a very good, bar very good barbecue sauce. I can see, see this going on a lot of things. If the stout is from <clears throat> like a stout of beer, I'm not tasting it. Like I said there's a little bit of heat. I would probably put the heat scale on this one. Maybe a two for me. Two and a half. Flavor wise, I'm gonna give that a solid six. <clears throat> Even with the possibility of there being onion in that, it's still very, very good for me. Yeah, it's a good, good little uh, third of the side of the label for ingredients. I just can't read them even with the glasses. <clears throat> so I guess like I said I had them up there for you. Oh, excuse me. Kind of coming back up with them. Yeah, I swear there's garlic in there. And I would say I'd probably put the garlic in the top half of the ingredients because it's so prominent. <clears throat> and that's what's making me burp right now. I'm also getting the slightest tinge of mustard seed. Not sure why. If that's actually what I'm tasting, but it's registering the in the brain as mustard seed. So hopefully I'm getting these correct. If not, then my taste buds are all out of whack. But <clears throat> yeah, another great sauce from Purple Ton Hot Sauce. You guys are definitely keeping up with the uh, sauces. I know I've had a couple that have been you know, when I started with them. But they're, they're definitely a, a sauce company that you want to check out with all the information below. But on that note, I'm going to say enjoy the heat, stay spicy. Don't forget to check out Purple Ton Hot Sauces. And order something from them or if you see them in a store, grab them. Because they're definitely worth it. Yeah. <clears throat> Two and a half for 
spice. And a six for flavor. But worth it. Yellow Ghost Pepper. 